What's up everyone, welcome to Audio Architects. Today I'm gonna to show you something that's not audio related, but I thought was really, really cool. I'm gonna show you how to rip your Blu-ray or DVDs onto your computer so that way you can use them with Plex or any kind of media server you have. So my intentions with all this is basically to show you not only how to rip this directly to your hard drive, but also in future videos, I'm gonna show you how to set up a NAS, how to use Plex on an Nvidia Shield, and so on and so forth. So stay tuned and check this out. Alright guys, so I know people are interested in turning their actual physical media into digital media. Now, I'm not sure where the gray area of legality is with all this, so as long as you don't share this or do some weird torrent stuff with other people, this is totally, totally cool because you actually own the physical copy. So I'm gonna go through the steps one by one on how to rip a Blu-ray directly into your computer. Check it out. Okay, we're gonna keep this short and sweet. Go ahead and go to Google and search for Make MKV. Once you get to make MKV's website, you're gonna go ahead and download it directly to your Windows. And you're gonna go ahead and open the file and install the software. As you can see, my software was already installed, so I have to just uninstall and reinstall it real quick. Bada bing, bada boom, super fast, no problem at all. Um, once you get all the software loaded in and everything uh, up and running, it's gonna take you to make MKV's user interface. And here's the user interface. What you're gonna do is go ahead and load your DVD or Blu-ray into your tray, and it's just gonna take a second for it to kind of load up and read uh, what's going on with that. Once you get everything loaded in, it's just gonna take a minute to read it. Uh, this process sometimes can take a little bit of time, but as long as you're patient, you're gonna get great results. Once it reads, you're gonna click on the little DVD-ROM thing and it's gonna kind of go through the motions of reading all the files on the actual Blu-ray or DVD. Once it catches up with itself and it reads all the files, because it is a lot of information sometimes on these uh, Blu-rays, it's gonna take you to this screen where you can actually see each individual file and what's going on. So what we're gonna do here, and sometimes it duplicates, I'm not sure what's going on with that, but okay, so obviously I put in Game of Thrones, which is gonna have three separate episodes per disc on this particular season. So you're gonna select the three biggest files, which are gonna be the second, third, and fourth. Everything else you see there is gonna be extra special content or special features, which I don't really care about. All I want is the actual episodes so I can access them quickly through my Plex server. So go ahead and unclick all the stuff you don't need, which is gonna be anything that's not obviously like 11 or 12 gigabytes. So unclick all that special feature stuff and then go ahead and unclick the three at the bottom because it just kind of duplicated it. Uh, you're gonna want the three on top, the one with the 5.1 or sometimes 7.1 sound. So you, easy way to check is just to open up the, the little tree there and you'll be able to see what kind of subtitles and audio codecs and all that other good stuff. So that way you know what kind of audio is going on in that file. Once you're done with all that, you're gonna go ahead and choose the folder. These are gonna be downloaded to. So once you choose your folder, you just go ahead and hit that make MKB button and it's gonna take this, this process does, depending on the size of the file, this process can take upwards of 15 to 20 minutes, sometimes 30, just depends on how big the file is. I am downloading three separate files, so I expect this to take at least least 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait and then I'll be right back. All right guys, after it's done recording, it's gonna pop up here in whatever folder you selected. As you see here, it's the first three episodes of season eight. So a great way to check that everything went well is going to be to right click, go ahead and go to open with VLC media player. Now you can select Windows Media Player, however, I have found in the past that sometimes the director's cuts and certain, uh, you know, different versions of movies that you may want to download will overlay the director's commentary on the movie when you're playing it through Windows Media Player because Windows Media Player doesn't seem to be intuitive whatsoever. So VLC kind of uh, separates those tr those audio tracks and gives, gives you a nice clean copy. So definitely use VLC Media Player when you're testing it out because it's gonna give you the most accurate situation that you're in. Okay guys, as you can see, uh, it's 1080p quality, it's not 4K. However, um, I think 1080p is just fine for stuff like this, not to mention, it's it's gonna be half the size, you know? These are already pushing 10 or 11 gigs, so uh, anything bigger is gonna be really, really crazy. So this is gonna live on a NAS server, which is then gonna to go to my Plex Media server on my NVIDIA Shield. A lot of people do use Handbrake to compress the file
tiles a bit so they won't be so big. However, I don't want to sacrifice any quality since these are already at 1080p, so I'm just going to leave well enough alone. And that's how you do it. Super easy. Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was informative and I know it didn't have anything to do with audio. However, I thought it was a really cool thing because this is something I got, this is like a problem I had. So I wanted to know how to do it. So I kind of wanted to share this with you. So that way you have a step-by-step -step easy process on how to do this kind of stuff. So as I mentioned before, I'm going to be doing an NVIDIA Shield uh, tutorial and I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your Plex and your NAS. So stay tuned for those videos in the near future. However, for now, have fun ripping all your DVDs and Blu-rays. And as always, if you enjoyed the content, smash the like, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to ring the bell to get notified anytime i put out new content thanks have a great day and we'll see you next week